Biomimetic Materials Gecko Feet Adhesives Nature has long been a source of inspiration for most human activities, affecting how science and technology has advanced and shaping many human achievements. In the recent past, nature has begun to influence science more significantly, and a new branch of science has emerged. Biomimetics, the imitation of systems that occur in nature for human use. Many such examples can be seen all over the world, such as airplanes inspired by bird flight or Velcro inspired by the hooks on burr fruits. Due to the countless systems found in nature and the specific environments and situations that these systems have adapted to, biomimicry is inspiring the creation of many new, better human systems. Gecko's amazing ability to climb surfaces has been the focus of attention since ancient times. Geckos are able to run on vertical or inverted, extremely smooth surfaces in a variety of conditions, including underwater, and can attach and detach their feet within milliseconds. However, gecko feet do not stick to surfaces unintentionally, and only stick when the gecko attaches its foot to a surface. Additionally, gecko feet don't stick to dirt or other small particles, and stay extremely clean regardless of the surfaces the gecko comes into contact with, without the need for cleaning. Gecko feet also do not require pressure to stick to surfaces, being able to stick to surfaces with little effort from the gecko and hold tens of times the gecko's body weight. Compared to gecko feet, conventional pressure-sensitive adhesives are severely limited in scope and function. Pressure-sensitive adhesives implement materials that fit to the surface they stick to, usually soft and sticky materials that are able to easily flow and deform. As the name suggests, pressure-sensitive adhesives require force to properly stick to surfaces. Because of the sticky materials used in pressure-sensitive adhesives, such adhesives tend to degrade quickly, collect dirt and particles, stick to unintended surfaces, and generally fail to work underwater. Thus, it would make sense that the mechanism of adhesion in gecko feet varies substantially from that in pressure-sensitive adhesives. Numerous hypotheses for the method of adhesion in gecko feet have been proposed throughout history. Initially, it was thought that geckos could secrete substances from their feet that would allow them to stick to surfaces. However, geckos do not possess glandular tissue on their foot pads, and this idea was abandoned. Another idea, suction cups, was abandoned after the adhesive effect was demonstrated to work in a vacuum. Adhesion by electrostatic forces was refuted when it was shown that gecko foot pads still adhered under conditions where electrostatic buildup was impossible. In 1900, the German scientist Anton Haas proposed that gecko pads implement intermolecular interactions to stick to surfaces. However, it was not until the invention of electron microscopy that this hypothesis would be verified. Although the hairs on gecko feet had been observed earlier, electron microscopy allowed another German scientist, Ewa Hiller, to see the nanostructure of gecko feet. In addition to documenting gecko foot structure, Hiller determined that the chemical properties of the surface, not physical properties such as texture, determined whether the pads could stick setting the stage for further research into the reason behind gecko's adhesive abilities. Although different species of gecko have evolved slightly different structures, the closely studied Tokay gecko has provided a fitting model for the mechanism. Each gecko foot has several hundred thousand hairs, known as setae, roughly 110 micrometers in length and 4.2 micrometers in width. Each setae splits into hundreds of smaller branches, known as spatula, for their wide and flat appearance. The flat faces of the spatula are oriented outwards from the gecko's foot, and the high density of spatula on the foot of the gecko maximizes the surface area which comes into contact with any given surface. The structures are made of keratin proteins, a class of water-insoluble proteins often used for structural purposes by animal cells. Knowledge of gecko's nanoscale foot structures was just the beginning to understanding how gecko feet stick. Several reasons could explain why the reason gecko's increased foot pad surface area allowed them to stick to surfaces. 
The two most likely explanations were intermolecular capillary forces which could occur between moisture on the gecko's feet and the surface, and van der Waals forces which result from temporary polarization of molecules in the two surfaces. Initial studies of intermolecular adhesion in gecko setae assumed that capillary force was responsible for gecko's ability to stick to surfaces, thus not considering polarizability of the surfaces tested, only the hydrophobicity. The studies found that surfaces with higher hydrophobicity decreased the strength of adhesion of the setae, leading researchers to attribute the gecko's abilities to capillary adhesion. In 2002, a team of scientists led by Keller Autumn showed that van der Waals forces were primarily responsible for the phenomenon. Autumn tested gecko adhesion on two surfaces, hydrophilic silicon dioxide and hydrophobic gallium arsenide, both of which were highly polarizable materials. The resulting adhesive forces between the two materials were roughly equal, meaning that van der Waals forces played a larger part in adhesion than capillary forces. Later research further confirmed van der Waals forces as having a greater impact on adhesion strength than capillary forces. One research group from Singapore carried out experiments in varying degrees of atmospheric moisture to test the effects of water on adhesion, the outcomes of which suggested that the effect of capillary forces exceeded that of van der Waals forces. Another group of researchers from Germany repeated this experiment, and noted that the capillary bridges that mediate capillary forces did not form, and therefore capillary force did not significantly contribute to adhesion, but the water molecules increased the number of van der Waals bonds formed. Several additional conclusions about gecko setae arose from Keller's research. Since van der Waals forces determined adhesion, it was possible to calculate the adhesive force of a single setae on a polarizable surface. The first attempts to measure the adhesive force of a single setae recorded extremely small magnitudes, but when the setae were preloaded and slightly shifted downwards, an adhesive force of 200 micronewtons was achieved. Scaling up from single setae, a toke gecko could theoretically produce 1.3 thousand newtons of shear force, tens of times more than enough to support its own body weight. However, this never happens in practice, as only a small fraction of the setae on a gecko's foot are able to align in the same direction at one time. Gecko's ability to attach and detach their feet within milliseconds was explained by the foot curling motion performed by the gecko. While measuring the adhesive force of setae, researchers had found that the maximum adhesive force occurred when the setae made a 30 degree angle with the surface. When this angle was increased or decreased, the adhesive force quickly diminished. To detach their feet, geckos make a curling motion that bends the setae, reducing adhesive strength and allowing the gecko to easily remove its foot. When the foot attaches again, the curling motion returns the setae to the optimal angle for adhesion. The self-cleaning phenomenon of gecko feet was explained by the material from which the setae are made, hydrophobic keratin. On their own, gecko setae are anti-adhesive and require the curling movement to adhere to surfaces. Microscale particles lessen the strength of adhesion of gecko foot pads, but Within four steps, the gecko is able to clear enough of the particles off its foot to regain its stickiness. This is caused by deposition of the microparticles onto the surface from the setae. Due to the hydrophobic keratin making up the gecko setae, adhesion energy is greater to the surface than to the setae, and the microparticles rapidly stick to the surface. Owing to the impressive properties of gecko foot pads, many attempts have been made to create synthetic equivalents to gecko pads for human use. The potential applications of such an adhesive are vast, and the potential to further improve on or specialize such an adhesive would allow for even more uses. Man-made gecko-inspired adhesives have progressively improved since their initial stages, advancing from only 1% of the gecko's adhesive strength to greater than 50%. In some circumstances, the synthetic alternative has already been implemented successfully, 
such as medical bandages or robot parts. One example from Stanford University in California implemented gecko skin adhesives to create handheld devices that allow people to climb vertical walls. Numerous methods of synthesizing gecko-inspired adhesives exist, each with their own benefits and drawbacks. Each method aims to create the nanoscale structure of gecko feet spatula using synthetic alternatives to keratin in order to mimic gecko feet van der Waals forces. While gecko-inspired adhesives have come a long way since their inception, many features can still be improved, and advancements are constantly being made. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed, leave a like or a favorite, share the video with your friends, or even subscribe for more educational content. Check out some of the other videos on this channel, or check out the featured channels for more content.